Hey y'all, Liv Farmer 73. I just wanted to give a quick update. <clears throat> I'm trying to keep track of all my trees this year because um, on some videos, it's not too much information or, you know, it's not too many videos on a lot of these trees and I got them, so I'm going to keep everybody posted. And here's one today that you don't see a lot of. Let me back up here. This is my Fuyu Persimmon. And there's not too many videos on this tree, especially when they're super young. Okay, um, I've had this tree now for three years, and I've pruned it so lightly, I won't even call it a pruning. It's just I had a couple of little crossing twigs. I won't even call them branches. But uh, right now, it's starting to bloom. Let me, let me rewind. When I first got this tree, right now, it's about six and a half feet tall when I first got this tree three years ago I'm gonna show you how big it was it was just a stick like this one bear with me and bouncing around while I'm walking I'm not the most graceful dude okay was it like this no it was like come on with me that's, that was pretty much the second stage, what I just showed you. This is what it looked like. This stick right here. Just a long whip in a bucket is what I had. And if you, you know, whip out your pinky finger, that's about how thick it is. Now, here's another stage of that same thing with branches. I mean, they grow really, really, really slow. Let's go back to stage two, which is this one right here. This one is in the ground, and it's actually thinner than the one in the bucket. But since it's in the ground, it's growing more branches, and it's growing them at a faster rate. And it even has, you know, a couple of buds about to pop open here, if you can see that. Now, year three. That was year one, year two, and year three. In my second year, which was last year, it went from the one we just walked from, that tiny little thing in the ground, and did this in the second year. So this is going into its third year, and it's, you know, it's bananas. Last year it had fruit on it, and it dropped. That's okay. I prefer the tree to grow, you know. It's, I'm still pretty much holding it up with this, uh, this pole right here. It's so thin and weak. But, as you can see, it's about to bud out, fruit out, all over the tree. And it gives the weirdest little buds and it has the weirdest looking fruit when it starts. Now, I don't know if you guys saw my video before the storm happened, but I told you this is one of my favorite fruits in the entire world. This is this fruit is delicious. If you haven't tasted a full you persimmon, please go try one. Um, and I wish you could get it from somebody that you know. Because it's not the same when you get out the grocery store. It just don't taste the same. I've tried plenty of them. They just don't taste the same. And they're very expensive. So, uh, but I'm going to keep you posted on the Fuyu persimmon tree. And it's doing so well. As you can see, more wood chips from my uh, collection. <laughs> so, yeah. Keep you posted on this tree. And it's, oh man, it's doing so good. I just hope it grows another four feet this year who knows that would be wonderful i just wanted to get strong you know all right i'm gonna keep you posted on the full you persimmon if you got any questions please ask me because i know you got questions on this one because nobody has too many videos they don't tell you too much and they don't show you they always show you the full you persimmon tree after it's huge and been there for like 40 years i want to start something keep track of them while they still young you know 
So uh, please ask any questions. I'll answer all the questions I can for you. And uh, if you got any information for me, hey, please let me know. All right. Till next time, Lead Farmer 73, and I am out.